Hi, preschool friends. So this week we've been talking about insects and our question of this week is, who works with insects? Do you remember some of the different people who work with insects? You're right, a beekeeper, there was a photographer, they take pictures of the insects, a gardener, because they work with the insects to keep them off their plants and some of the insects help their plants grow like bees. We also talked about a myrmecologist, which is a person who just studies ants. And then an entomologist is somebody who studies all types of insects. And we've been entomologists through the last few weeks as we learned all about insects. So one of the most common jobs that works with insects is a beekeeper and it might be one of the main ones that you've already heard a little bit about a beekeeper is somebody who raises bees and takes care of them and then they probably harvest their honey so we're going to learn a little bit more in this story and it calls it's called where does it come from from flower to honey and this book is written by Penelope S. Nelson. That means she is the person who wrote all of the words. She's the author. And the pictures or illustrations in this book are real photography. So this book was made by a photographer. And it's about insects. So that is how those types of jobs work. So in this book, we're going to learn how the honey is made by the bees, and then we're gonna learn a little bit more about a beekeeper. So here's our story from flower to honey. Busy bees, honey is sweet. Where does it come from? Do you remember where honey comes from? We've talked about it a few times over the last few weeks. Let's find out. Honey bees. Says they fly to flowers and they eat the nectar. Remember, they use their proboscis, the long straw-like thing that comes from their mouth, and they drink the nectar from the flowers. Or they collect the pollen on their legs and then they take it back to the hive for the rest of the bees. They don't eat it all. They bring some to their hive. Now, some honeybees live in these types of things, and these are called hives. These are the different um, containers that beekeepers use to raise bees. So the bees are able to fly in and out of these boxes to create their hives inside. Honeycomb is inside. Nectar turns into honey. So the bees fly back from the flowers and they bring the nectar to these honeycombs and it gets turned into honey. Who is this? Do you know who this is? Right, it's a beekeeper. He wears a suit. Why do you think he wears a suit? It's so he doesn't get stung. You can see he wears a hat and it has this piece of netting around it and it all gets sealed up and the bees can fly all around him, but they aren't able to get inside of his mask or his suit. So this suit that a beekeeper wears is made to protect them from the bees because bees do sting and it does hurt if you get stung by a bee. So that's why we want to just look at bees from a far away distance. We don't want to get up to them and we definitely don't want to touch them. He lifts out each frame. So these frames are inside of the hive and the bees have made their honeycomb and put their honey and made it and put it inside of these honeycombs. And you can see all of the bees working to make that honey. So the beekeeper takes it out of the hive. Says there is wax on top. 
this white stuff right here is wax and that is what protects the bee's food or the honey. The beekeeper scrapes it off so it looks like he's using a knife to scrape off that white wax. Look at what's underneath it. It's honey. The frames go in a machine. It spins and honey pours out. So they put those frames into this machine and they spin it and spin it and spin it. And when they spin it, something called centrifugal force pushes the honey out. And it comes out of this little spout and they collect it in a bucket. It goes through a filter. Why? To catch more wax. A filter is something that keeps chunks um, that might be found in the honey from going through into the final container of honey. So the filter stops those bigger pieces of wax that might still be there. Once it's went through the filter, then it goes into the jars. After it's in the jars, we can buy it and we eat it. Yummy! Have you ever tried honey? I would love for you to write a comment or draw me a picture of a time when you've tried honey. So that story is a little bit about honey and it also talked about one of the jobs that works with insects. So a beekeeper is the main reason that we're able to buy the honey in the store because they take care of the bees, they make sure they're safe, and then they are able to harvest some of the honey that the bees make and then they sell it at stores so we can buy it. I hope you enjoyed learning about a beekeeper and we will learn more about a different person who works with insects next time. Bye, preschoolers.